Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. I hope you guys enjoy this short video with a couple great landscape lighting tips, but if you need more info, go and check out our website at lightingdoctor.ca or go to YouTube and search for Lighting Doctor for more helpful tips. So guys, the, the last fixture on the line, a question I get emailed and asked all the time is, hey, I've, I've wired all my lights, everything looks really good, and then all of a sudden I wired my last fixture and the whole system had just shorted out and nothing's working anymore um, and I'll explain why that is um, and it's typically this one this one error because it's different than wiring your other lights when you have when you're wiring your other lights it's pretty easy you've got your your waterproof connectors that we use that have three holes in them so you have a wire coming into that fixture and then you have a wire going out and then you have your wire to your fixture so basically you got six wires and you got six holes so it's easy but on your last light but you don't have that. You've only got your wires coming in and your fixture wires. So now you got four wires and six holes. So how do you make it? How do you make it fit? How do you make it work? And what most people do is they use only one connector and they jam all their wires in there. And what happens is same thing. If I was to turn the system on right now and my 12-2 wire, I was to touch these together, it's going to short out the whole system because this needs to be. A continuous flow so on that last light what we're gonna do I've got my 12-2 wires split already I've got my wires from my fixture and all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my waterproof connector and in our small terminal hole I'm gonna place one of those fixture wires and I'm gonna place one of my 12-2 wires and then from there, I'm gonna snap that tight. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other 12-2 strand that's coming in. I'm gonna throw that in my waterproof connector. I'm gonna take my other fixture wire and that's gonna go in our small hole. I'm gonna button that up. And that's our last light on our fixture. So. If you're having issues and that's a problem where you've wired all your lights, you've tested them and they're working and then you get that last one and it shorts it out, that's probably why. So, jeez, uh, <laughs> quick tip, test your lights as you're going. You know, say you, you've got a system and we've done it before where we got 60 lights uh, and we don't think to test anything until the end and now we gotta go try and troubleshoot where the issue is with 60 lights. Uh, luckily it's not that tough to find, but it's still a lot more time consuming than if you go and wire say five to ten lights plug them back into your transformer turn it on make sure everything's working and then you can keep going in sequence throughout the project uh, and that way if you do have an error it's easier to troubleshoot it within five to ten lights than it is for 20 30 or, or 60 lights um, and especially if it's your first time doing it just test as much as possible because it's way easier to fix the problem and find the problem when everything's still exposed than when you have your whole system buried in the ground so hope that helps how to wire your last light. If you need more info on that, search lighting doctor, wiring diagram. There's a couple videos that give you a diagram of exactly how to go and wire your low voltage landscape lights. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. I hope you guys got some great tips and I hope you guys take advantage of your own free video consultation where you can send me a few pictures of your property and I'm gonna get back to you with your own personalized video pre presentation with all kinds of tips and tools on how to go and light your own property. So to get that, go check us out at lightingdoctor.ca or just email me a few pictures of your property at cal at lightingdoctor.ca.